Good morning. Today, we're gonna paint. You just need your body kit. Paint. 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 Masking tape. Scissors for the masking tape. And a blow dryer if you have one. This is what the shell looks like on the painting. The RC manual. This is the guy painting. Additional parts to be painted. Stickers. And the masks. And the body pins. I think that's it. So what we're gonna do here first is we're gonna wash the whole thing with soapy water. This is to ensure that there's no oil, grease, or anything on the body when we paint it. For this task, uh, we can just use some dishwashing soap. It'll be that easy. Just as important as cleaning the body, we gotta make sure that it's perfectly dry because water will ruin the paint. Yeah, I think that's dry. We're gonna cut this part out because uh, we're gonna need it to make a license plate. The next step is to cut out masks to cover the windows and whatever parts we don't want painted. Wow, uh, that took four hours. But now that the car is all masked up, that means when we start painting the main body color, uh, it won't get on the windows or anything that we want to paint black or gray. After washing the body one more time to make sure that it's all nice and squeaky clean, we can begin painting. Make sure that your paint will stick to polycarbonate. I may be biased, but I think this is a pretty nice first coat. Let's just set this aside and let it dry for a bit before going to the next one. Alright, I just heated it with a second coat of blue paint, and we're gonna let this dry before removing the masks and painting the next sections. Right. With the blue coat painted on and now dry, we can now remove the masks on the part that we want to paint black, such as this stuff, this stuff, this stuff, and this lower bumper here. Now that we've removed all the masks, it is time to paint the next color. In my case, the next color here is gonna be black. Alright guys, so uh, we ran out of black paint, I'll be seeing you guys next time. Alright, we're going to see if we can squeeze anything out of the last can that we have. Since we don't have the paints for now, we can work on the accessories, such as the side mirrors right here. Because I'll be using mirror stickers for these, it'll only be these that I'm painting. These are molded in white, but before we can paint them in any color, we're gonna hit them with a very nice primer base coat. Alright, I just finished priming the mirrors over there. We're gonna let this dry and then hit it with black. Alright, the primer is finally dry and the sun is now gone. I'm not personally satisfied with this shade of black, so I'm gonna let it dry for a bit and then hit it again with something darker. Hi, welcome back. What we're gonna do is remove this mask here to allow us to paint this section in gray. With the mask now removed, everything that's clear here will become gray when I hit it with this. There's a very small splotch of dark blue over here on what's supposed to be completely gray, but I'll let it stay. It's alright. We all make mistakes sometimes, and cars are no exception. Despite the mistakes, I don't think it looks that bad. Hi, good morning. Now that the top part here is dry, we can finally add the backing coat of black. Yeah, I think that's a very nice backing coat of black. Now that the black backing coat is done, all we gotta do is remove these window masks. With just the front window masks removed, you can only see that it's clear beneath because we covered it the entire painting process. I'm gonna remove the side windows and the rear window masks later, but there's an optional step here. Technically, we're done. We, we can just remove all the masks, this is good to go. But what I want to do is I want to recreate the window tint on the real Mazda MX-5. And for that, we're gonna need clear black. Alright guys, I'm back from using the smoke clear to tint the car, and the problem is because I used Bosni instead of Tamiya polycarbonate paint, it kind of melted through and there's kind of like this noticeable drip going upwards in the windows and on the sides. But uh, we're gonna live with that. There's still things to be done and I can't just waste my time crying over this. Hi, welcome back. So the paint fumes induced a little four hour nap. But we're back here and we're gonna try to finish this before the sun goes down. The last thing we're going to use the paint for is to put a nice flat coat on the canvas retractable top. You can't see it right now but the entire car has a very dull, clear plastic film on it that protects the polycarbonate. When this film is removed, the entire car is very, very glossy. Now that's fantastic for the glass, the metal, but for things like this canvas soft top that we're trying to recreate in one-tenth scale, we're gonna want it to be flat. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the film just on the canvas soft top and then hit it with some flat finish. I'm just gonna remove this film here. All right, with the canvas top, layer removed and the rear masked up. I'm just gonna 
clean up the mask here to ensure that this black part stays glossy after we finish hitting it with paint. And with this little piece of tape, I can ensure that the entire thing stays glossy after hitting it with the flat. That being said, let's hit it with flat. The flat finish is complete and it looks quite nice. Can't really tell right now though. The final step after this dries is that we're gonna remove the rest of the body protective film to expose all of the gloss and to show you the contrast between this flat finish and the normal gloss body. Hi, welcome back. So the sun is gone, but the top coat is dry, which means we can finally remove the top protective film and see how we did. And check that out guys, I think that looks fantastic. The gloss looks stunning and I think the, the flat coat on the canvas top here looks great as well. The next step is to put some stickers on and cut it free from the rest of the body. Hi, good morning. Now at this stage, while well, you could do either stickers or you could cut it out from the polycarbonate, I'm gonna do the latter because I need to cut it from the polycarbonate if I want to run it, which I want to do today. To cut it from the polycarbonate, you can use any kind of scissors, but Tamiya makes a special kind of scissors for cutting polycarbonate. These kind of scissors are, have a very small edge, very long handles, and are curved, making it easier for me to cut along the wheel wells. Alright, now that I've cut the excess polycarbonate from the body, we have these, uh, I've cut out the wheel wells over here, and the excess skirting. The final step for the cutting stage is to drill body holes so we can mount it onto the body poles over there. For this step, the conventional way to do it is you create a small notch, and then you expand that notch with something like this. This is a special tool called the body reamer. But I think you can do this with a drill. You see, I've already got the front body holes over here. All I gotta do next is get the rear. Alright, that's all four body holes mounted on the car, which means we can mount it onto the chassis. You just gotta line it up with the posts, and it just falls into place. I wanna see how it looks, so I'm gonna mount some wheels onto it. And check it out guys, I think that looks fantastic. Day 4 of building a Miata, and my brother actually came back from the Spaniards. So the work in progress Miata, he's also working on a Miata. And my dad over here, he's also working on a Miata over there. My mom just came home from work. Right. Now that I've got the car fitted onto the chassis properly, the last thing that I can do is mga details and stuff. So while that would include the mirrors, I'm not done painting the mirrors. So what that means for us is I'm gonna do the stickers. Being Tamiya, it comes with a lot of stickers. Still being Tamiya, the instructions tell us where to put the stickers on the car. And still, still being Tamiya, you have to cut out the stickers individually. This might be a while. Hey guys, good morning. It's Sunday, which means it's the day that I'm gonna finally run this car. Now, I don't have time to finish painting the mirrors, but I think I got the stickers that I need. I got the tail stickers over here, I got the emblems, I got the headlight stickers as well, as we can see right there. And I think the car looks fantastic as it is. I'll be finishing the mirrors when I get home. As it is, I think the car looks splendid and I hope it runs just as nicely. Hey guys, welcome back. The MX-5 is on the track today and we're gonna see how we do. After a few runs and a few crashes, this is what the MX-5 looks like. You can't really see it from here, but the bumper has a few dents in it. Same with the rear over here. But hey, that's racing. The mall is about to close, and this is how you pack up an RC car. Box fan cam. Hey guys, good morning. It's a Monday morning, and the car is still a bit banged up from yesterday. What we're gonna do, we're gonna finish putting on the stickers today, and I'll see you when that's done. Hey, so that took three hours, but I think the car looks great! We got the weather stripping, we got the weather stripping on the windows as well, we got the very nice little vents over there in the front bumper, and we even have front and rear license plates. At this point in time, all that's really missing from this car are the side mirrors, which we can get to in a bit. Hey guys, welcome back to the attic. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna airbrush these into a nice metallic gray or silver and then hand brush the little details black and I think it looks quite nice we'll be doing some detail paint with black when this dries good morning everybody so it's Tuesday and I'm still not done with this kit the next thing on the list is to detail paint these with a hand brush rather than airbrush for this I'll be using acrylic black and then I'll coat it with lacquer I'll see you guys when this is done one coat of paint later and I think this looks quite nice so we got our silver, we got our black. The next step is to hit it with a clear coat so it shines evenly and protects the paint. Crashes happen a lot, that's out of my control, and I want it to look as good for as long as possible. Hey guys, welcome back. So we just airbrushed the clear coat on and I think that looks quite shiny. It looks nice, yes, but the important thing is that it is protected from very light scratches. 
Now that this mirror is done and clear coated, we can put the lens on it and then attach it to the car and officially call it a day. Now what I've done previously is that I put these very nice reflective mirror stickers on the lenses. So instead of using the silver stickers included with the kit, I'm using something actually reflective. Like hey, there's the camera lens, say hi. They kind of just pop right in like that. The mirrors mount to the body through holes in the side of the body. And they fasten by these pins on the other side of the body. And hey, it mounted quite nicely. And it looks quite nice as well. And now that the body is mounted to the chassis and with the very nice gunmetal painted wheels, I can call the Miata done. This has been a project that took a bit longer than it should have, but I'd say that the end result was definitely worth it despite all the mistakes I've made along the way. I'll be running the car this week at Circuit Makati, so stay tuned for more.